We smell every single dossier fragrance, so you don't have to. And these are our favorites. Cue, Cue the, the music. music! Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Andrea, also known as Curly Sense, and thank you so much for stopping thank by. Thank you! Hi! For those of you who don't know who this beautiful creature is next to me, creature. It's nobody else. I'm a creature. Than a Toth fragrance, aka, aka, AKA. Curly, Mr. Curly Sand. <laughs> that was like our 70th take. She just can't get it right. So what are we doing here today? Guys, we got a freaking juicy, juicy, like you squeeze an orange and you got the, all the yeah, pulp yeah, running yeah. down your arm kind of video. Recently, I've been so stuck on TikTok and I've been seeing everyone talk about these fragrances. Everybody. Everybody. Well, tell them what it is. Who Who are you talking about? We're talking about Dossier. 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 Dossier? A lot of you guys are always commenting you want to hear about affordable perfumes and you also want to hear about dupes yeah, 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 or yeah. inspired by perfumes. Exactly. You guys are always asking for those. Man, Dossier was so kind to send the entire catalog to us. I was like shocked when I saw it. They sent us box after box. <laughs> I think there's like over 80 fragrances. We smelled all of them. We man. smelled all of them. Oh my God, it took forever, but we finalized it down to 12. We're going to talk about 12 of our favorites. We compared them to the original. Yeah. We sprayed them. We even did blind tests oh with God. each other. It took us a few days. <laughs> yes. It was super fun though to, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. to guess which one's dossier, which one's the real thing. Oh, it was a playground. It was a game. And the results might surprise you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All okay. Right. Let's dive in. If you guys haven't heard of dossier, which I highly doubt, what they're all about is bringing clean, ethical, high quality, inspired by fragrances to you guys exactly. for fair prices. Exactly. They make fragrances inspired by top brands like Tom Ford, Chanel, YSL, Dior, Le Labo. The, the whole shebang. The and whole shebang. And the price is going to range from like 29 bucks to 59 bucks. Exactly. It's not going higher than 59. Yeah, exactly. It's craziness. Yeah. Because you know something, Anthony? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody deserves to smell good. They all deserve it. But not everyone can afford like Chanel prices exactly. and your prices and the Labo prices. So Dossier makes it super affordable and easy. My lady. Yes. What are we talking about first? I will go with this one right here. Oh. It is called Ambery Saffron. So this exactly. is a dupe or inspired by Baccarat Rouge 540 right. that we all know and love. Pull up your notes. Oh. Pull up your notes. So when we were doing the blind testing, we, we took some notes down we so we notes. remember what we said about the fragrances. Exactly. So we compare all of these fragrances with their originals. If I smelled this fragrance without the comparison of the actual Baccarat Rouge 540, mm -hmm. I will tell you this is Baccarat. This is Baccarat, like, straight, straight up. up. Get that sweet, sweet, delicious burnt sugar kind of cotton candy vibe with the woodiness in the background. A little bit of that dentist feel. As yeah, well. that dentist <laughs> kind of latex glove feel yeah. that we all know about. When we were testing them side by side, yeah. obviously you can identify a slight difference. Up close. Up close. But when we left them to dry down, like maybe like an hour or two hours into it, to me, they were almost identical. Pretty much. The one thing that I will say about this, you know, as scent fanatics and we're nitpicking here, I feel like Baccarat is a little more transparent, mm -hmm. kind of more airy. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Where I this see. one is more dense. I see, I see. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing. No, not at all. I feel like you won't go nose blind to this one because it's more dense. You're going to smell it throughout the day and it's strong. Mm, it's very strong. Just like Baccarat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super strong. If you're walking down the street and people People got a whiff of this fragrance, yeah. they will 100% think that this is Baccarat Rouge 540. I've told you this story before. I'm gonna tell you guys briefly. Tell us, tell us. I was in Target, you know, doing some shopping, you know, getting like 20 things that you don't need, but you leave there with like 10 bags. I caught a whiff of something that smelled like Baccarat. In Boston, we don't smell fragrances a lot on people. So when I get a whiff of some cologne or some perfume in a store, I gotta know what it is. This is gonna sound creepy, but I started walking around the store like, like looking for this scent because it smelled so good. I found the girl that wore it and I walked up to her and I think I scared her a little bit. I was like, hey, uh, can I ask you what fragrance you're wearing? You smell really good. 
She freaking said, uh, uh, do dossier? And I'm like, oh yeah, like uh, the Baccarat Rouge clone. She's like, yeah, I think so. So obviously this is very popular, probably one of their best sellers. Yeah. You're gonna smell it everywhere, but it smells fantastic. It smells incredible. We all know that there's probably like a thousand trillion <laughs> clones of Baccarat Rouge 540 it, out it there. It gets confusing. Yeah. If you were thinking to go with one, but you don't know where to start, I would go for dossier because yeah. honestly to me, this is like the closest you can get. And yeah, it's one of the b best ones I've smelled. Yeah. And we've smelled trust us a Lots. lot a lot of clones all right i'm gonna choose next all one right, let's yeah, go with go, 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 go. Um, woody sandalwood oh yeah and this is their version of santal 33, 33 which you do own a bottle of oh. and you claim to love it but I'll you haven't been wearing you. your bottle yeah i haven't been wearing the bottle because if you guys remember that video that we made with mr anthony smelling he doesn't like I, it i hate santal 33 and i think many of you will agree with me and many of you will agree with her yeah he man anyways I'm regardless gonna... mm -hmm. let me tell you about this one when we were testing side by side yeah i was blindfolded so basically she closed her eyes yeah i gave her each one to smell blindly what happened what did you choose as the real one <laughs> dossier she chose dossier as the real one and i will tell you this guys i love that freaking fragrance like if i smell it i know it's santal 33 yeah. i know it in and out and i confused i was like i was shocked i'm like no you're lying <laughs> you're lying to me it was a shocker because they're yeah. very 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 similar. Yeah, I mean, I know we said the Baccarat one was almost identical. I think from top to bottom, Woody Sandalwood is like a dead ringer. Dead, it was dead like, on. If you can fool her for a fragrance that she loves. And it's very hard to fool me, okay? Don't get it twisted right there, right there, right there. I think it belongs as like a surface cleaner no, or like no, a, no, no, something no. not to go on your skin. Guys, don't listen. Don't listen to Anthony. This fragrance right here, it's like one of the fragrances that came into the industry and shocked everybody I'll give of it that. how good it is that's why everybody wears this that's Especially why all of new york smells the like entire this. new york smells like santal 33 it's definitely unique very unique i find it very sexy well i don't yeah whatever in terms of closeness yeah. to the original and it performs well very well we yeah. did try a few of these on skin obviously not all of them because that would take us weeks but this is also a very strong performer yeah very strong performer man the lava can be very expensive when i bought that bottle <laughs> I was like, oh my god. You feel your pockets ripping off when you're buying stuff from Le Labo. Yeah. So this is great. This is like genius. I don't know how like Dossier did it. No, this is one that is, you're definitely going to save money and you're not going to be disappointed by quality yeah. or smell or performance. All right, moving on to fragrance number three. And this one is called Embery Cherry. Mm -hmm. And I believe this is a clone of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Lost Cherry. And this is a beautiful scent. Yeah, this is very nice. You need a full bottle of this. We only have a sample to go off of, but you need a full bottle. Oh, okay, I see what you <laughs> did there. <laughs> This one is, uh, this is another spot on one. Yeah, it is. Like from the get-go. Yeah. Juicy, dark cherries, amaretto, liquor. Oh my God, yes. Some vanilla. Yes, yes, yes. That's it. Oh my God. So smooth. Mm. You know when you mm. get like a drink and they put that cherry, that very juicy, nice yes. cherry on it? Uh, what do you call those? Maraschino cherries? Whatever you call them, I can taste Mar it right now. Yeah. Yeah, this is very delicious cherry, creamy, mm. boozy. Mm -hmm. You guys saw one of my like 90 second videos where I talk about Lost Cherry. Ultra sophisticated cougar. I don't know why, not to say that this is only for cougars. Oh, this is absolutely unisex. Maybe oh yeah. You, you could be my shangy daddy. What, what would you call a cougar who's a guy? Jaguar, panther, I don't know. Whatever. Tell us if you know what cougar is for men. But yeah, I just picture a really sophisticated woman at the bar drinking a drink like you just said with yeah. one of those cherries yeah. and she's by herself and she's also putting the cherry in her mouth and she's oh, making yeah, she's those like... no 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 what is she doing <laughs> you know when they put... she's flossing <laughs> no, with the stem no you know when they put the stem into their mouth yeah, in, they, in but... the movies and they make like little thingies and then they take it out tight and well that's what i was trying to do what when they eat it like they, they swirl it around their mouth bravo, and they, like, bravo. <laughs> Anyways, it took us a while to get there. But this is that. Yeah. This is that. I, and I totally think that they capture the smoothness, they capture the cherry, the creaminess. Oh, yeah. The entire vibe of Lost Cherry is 
here. And Tom Ford prices are like up there with Lilabo prices. Yeah, it's very expensive. Very expensive. For a 50 ml. Honestly, I wouldn't spend that much money to get Lost Cherry. Yeah. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't either. Also because Lost Cherry is kind of notorious for not performing that well. Mm. I will say Emberry Cherry is on par with Lost Cherry. Okay, yeah. Ford, but on of, the performance. Of course, it's like five times cheaper. Yeah. So don't feel bad over spraying this all over your body up yeah. and down. <laughs> you know? Spray as much as you want. This was one that she actually gave a wearing to. Yeah. And it, it smelled... Incredible. <laughs> mucho great. Mucho gudo. I was a cougar for a night. <laughs> all right. The next one we're gonna go with is Ambery Vanilla. There you go, yeah. This is a popular one because it is a dupe of... Black Opium. Black Opium by YSL. A very popular one. I'm gonna tell you this about this fragrance. Tell me. I am not a huge fan of Black Opium by YSL. I'm not either. Let's begin from there. It has something in there that really throws me off and I okay. I, I could never bring myself to even wear Black Opium because really? of that. Yeah I, yeah, I can do it. Yeah, I remember I first smelled this in a video, I think with uh, Giacomo. I don't think I gave it a crazy high rating. I thought it was just okay. But anyways, the reason it's on this list is because it is a really good alternative. It's a very good alternative. Even if we don't like the scent that yeah. much, if you do like black opium, it is worth trying this out for sure. I will say though in the opening, Amberry Vanilla is a little bit different than black opium. Yeah. But as they started drying down, it became closer and closer. The dry down of Amberry Vanilla is a little more like cocoa-y. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Almost yeah. like a little sweeter and powdery rather than more floral. Yeah. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. No, no, no. It's kind of more gourmand. So if you like that, yeah. maybe you'll like this one better than the original. But I think the original for me was a little more floral mixed with the gourmand. And this one was more <laughs> gourmand. <laughs> Moving on to the next one. Are you ready, my love? I'm getting ready. <laughs> this is gourmand patchouli. Mm. AKA Angel by Mugler. By Mugler. Wow. So. You wanna go first? Guys, this one. This one. Oh my God. When we did the blind testing, you know, with the eyes closed and the <laughs> sniffy sniffy. <laughs> we got to admit it. Oh. We yeah. got to admit it. Yeah. Our notes say we both chose Dossier. As the original. As the original. Comma. And, and it, it smelled, smelled better. better. <laughs> I mean, okay, Angel is one of my favorite fragrances by Mugler. Of all time? No, of, of all, all time. Yeah, no? period, like in general as a fragrance. It's one of the most intoxicating, sexy, um, how do you call these people that go like... Oh, like some uh, dominatrix? Dominatrix oh. kind of a fragrance Dang. ever. Oh my God. <laughs> and this one right here, I don't know how it got me in particular fooled. Because you have a lot of experience with Angel. Yes, I was shocked. Again, I smelled this for the first time on one of our older videos and I think I trashed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The patchouli is an acquired taste. Yeah. A few years later, I can say that I can tolerate the patchouli and I actually think this is a very sexy fragrance. It is, it I, is. Especially in the dry down, the patchouli kind of tames down. It's not so sharp and pungent. Yeah. Whew, this is, this is for a confident woman. Mm -hmm. A confidente woman. <laughs> Like when you try to make words like <laughs> confidente. <laughs> what is that? A confidente woman? Confidacion. <laughs> I was so sure that the dossier was the original. It just smells better. It smells full and it smells high quality. Yeah. And I said, that's the original. And she's like, no, no bitch. And then she went, I'm like, <laughs> no, you wrong too. Because you should have seen us like when we were like testing the fragrances. It's like, it was a war. Okay. Yeah. No, this is the original. No, this is the original. Bitch. A great fragrance and an incredible, incredible dupe. Angel is very expensive nowadays. Is it? It's very expensive. Damn. So I would say with my heart, my hand in my heart, <laughs> go for this one. Yeah. Almost identical, even better. Fair to say. Yep. But for, yes. real. for real. For real. For real. For real. Yes. Up next we have Woody Sage, ah, which is ah. inspired by Joe Malone's Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're gonna be completely transparent here. This is the only one. We didn't have a sample of, yes. but we have both obviously smelled this We've smelled many this before, times. Yeah. Tested it. This is another banger. 
Are you kidding me? I this was one that I actually wore myself because I think I think we both think this is 100% unisex. Absolutely. I yeah. think women tend to lean more towards it, but I think more guys should be wearing this yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, it's so good, especially for the summer. Oh god. Oh yes. my god, so fresh, juicy. Oh, very very beautiful scent. Clean. It's a super simple but effective scent. Exactly. Salty herbaceous, yeah. kind of woody, very citrusy, fresh. Yes, like very, very juicy. Like you feel it, it's in your mouth, like tangy. Yeah. Perfect, this is gonna be perfect for every day yeah. in the summer. You're just gonna spritz this on and go wherever. Anytime, anywhere, man, woman, day, night, summer. Now, Jo Malone, I believe this fragrance doesn't perform well at all, actually. Like yeah. a lot of people complain that this fragrance is so beautiful, like one of the best Jo Malone fragrances out there. Yep. But the performance sucks big time. A lot of people say it's like gone in an hour even. Especially when you're paying so much money yeah. for a fragrance and it's not lasting, then mm -hmm. what are you doing, you know? I will say when I wore it, it wasn't the it wasn't beast mode by any means. This DNA is not gonna be beast mode just because of the ingredients that yeah. go into it. I think this can outperform the original. I truly do. Yeah. Because I got decent performance out of this. Like I wasn't dissatisfied. It lasted a good while throughout the day and yeah. I, I enjoyed wearing it. And again, you can respray yourself as many times as you want without feeling Oh my god, my money. Yeah. You know? This so, is one you can just, you know, spray head to toe, baby. Yeah. Head to toe. <laughs> Moving on to a fragrance that everybody loves out there, and it is none other than Woody Tobacco, inspired by Just Club by Nasal Margiela. Margiela. This one resonates with me because I am a jazz musician. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I say I'm a jazz musician, she starts laughing. Here's a little story time. We play in a band, he's the drummer, I'm the singer, and our keyboard player, who also loves fragrances, mm -hmm. came to a gig one day, and I, I asked him, are you wearing Jazz Club? And then he goes, no. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> Maybe not. He wasn't, okay? He was wearing woody tobacco. We were on break, I smelt it too. <laughs> and you know, he was walking in front of us, we, we caught the trail. Yeah. Smell like jazz club. Yeah. Now that being said, smelling it on paper, this one to me is not the closest. This is probably the least identical out of all 12, but the reason it's on this list is because of that story. In the air. Without reference to the original. Smell like jazz club. It's yeah. Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's, Nobody's gonna, gonna, gonna know. know. <laughs> they're oh, they're gonna know. Nobody's, Nobody's gonna, gonna know. Okay, let's go with a fragrance that, once again, I trashed in a previous video of mine, okay? But. But what? The fact that it is so popular among women and that this dupe is damn good, we're including it in the video. <laughs> All right, let's see. This is Fruity Neroli, oh. inspired by Armani's my way. I'm gonna have to say though, I really dislike my way. Yeah. For me, the original <coughs> got in my mouth a little there. For me, the original my way is, as I said, headache inducing. It's overly sweet. It's just a tuberose yeah, it's, nightmare. It's a tuberose done wrong yeah. in a bad way. I love tuberose, but yeah. that is like holy smokes, man. There's a time and place for tuberose. Yeah. I don't think Armani really got it dialed in. Yeah. I even though the intense is amazing, huh? You like the intense? I love the intense. This actually changed my mind about My Way because Dossier gave it a little twist mm. for the better. In my in my humble opinion. I, I see it, I see it, I see it. They made it a little more citrusy. I get it, right? Is it zest? It's like a little yeah, zesty in there. This little thing zingy. zesty. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. It kind of so. like cuts through that tuberose and it doesn't make it so headache inducing, you yes. know? And it also makes it a little bit less sweet. So if you like my mm. way, but you thought the tuberose was a little too much or it was like cloyingly sweet, yeah. this is like a citrusy, more airy and less sweet take on it and yeah, I yeah. actually like this yeah, one. Like it, huh? I freaking like my yeah. way dossier version. <laughs> You know what? I will actually consider wearing this uh, version. Oh, really? I, I would, I would, I would. Because I was I was so bummed that I didn't like my way, you know, no. as much as other women did out there. Yeah, it's so popular. And, yeah, and I, I wanted to like it. So this one kind of is starting to change my mind about it. And I would like yeah. to give it a full wearing and a, like a, a try. Nice. And when I looked into the website of Dossier, people uh -huh. leaving reviews about this specific fragrance, they said they get mad compliments. Oh. Oh, really? With this fragrance. So I'm curious. I mean, I can know? see that with this version. Yeah. For me, it's it's definitely better. I guess women like it for a reason, you know? Yeah. It's gonna get you some compliments. Yeah. Oh, got... Okay, okay, okay. This one, this one is one of my favorites. Oh, I can't believe <clears throat> I know what this one is. It is called Ambery Cedarwood, and it is the dupe of Alien. 
Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Talk to me, baby. I love this freaking fragrance, man. <laughs> I love... Oh, you girls know exactly what I'm talking about because I'm sure all of you have a bottle of Alien. All and of you. And if you don't... And if you don't... You should. Oh my what, God. What are you doing with your life? One of the... M- most iconic fragrances for women and so distinct you smell this fragrance you know it's alien yeah nothing nothing else could ever match alien all right so when we were testing (laughs) when we were testing this fragrance getting exposed here anthony was like the dossier is the original i chose dossier as the original i couldn't tell the difference this one was very 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 close yeah i didn't get fooled the notes say what andrea almost got stumped so don't act like you knew right away she was like back and forth she's like ah, one I'll, more time yeah yeah one more time. yeah 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 i was like that one thing i'm gonna say is that the original has more of a sweetness a little than, bit yeah. yeah and i think that's the reason why i knew you could pinpoint i can pinpoint yeah you know <laughs> Everything else though, the, the jasmine mixed with the amber notes, oh. oh, it's all there. Yeah. It gives you the same feeling that it, Alien Yeah, it, it is. And in the dry down, when I smelled them after like a couple of hours, mm-hmm. I couldn't tell which one yeah. was the original one anymore. This one was also quite strong off paper. So I think like Alien, it's going to be a pretty damn good performer. This month. So again, if you don't have Alien, what are you doing with your life? Yeah. And Try it out. You might like Ambery Cedarwood and... And you will need to get a bottle. Call it a day. day. You call it a day, man. Yeah. I'm gonna go with your special scent. Okay. I wouldn't say signature, but this is one of your special occasion scents. It's my special occasion. I love. It's called Spicy Orchid, inspired by Black Orchid, Tom Ford. This is one of the fragrances that I like to wear when I'm performing mm-hmm. on stage. Oh my god. This is some bold stuff, guys. The amount of compliments I received with this fragrance. Really? It's unreal. So when he was testing me, I immediately knew which one was the original and which one was Dossier. Just because I know this fragrance inside out, up and down, left and right. Yeah. You can fool me. You know the inner workings I know, of I it. know, I know, I know, I know. Damn well. But, <laughs> plot twist. I wanted to test her again like an hour later. So I brought her back and said, close her eyes, smell it again. She got it wrong. I got it wrong? You got it wrong the second time. So as these, as these two dried down, couldn't quite find it. She yeah. couldn't quite I find mean, it. I'll, I'll I will tell you this. If you're a company that wants to make an inspiration of my baby, Black Orchid, <laughs> and you're trying to fool me, you better make sure. You better come clutch. You better cut it very, very close, okay? And confuse me. You can't mess with the orchid. No, man. man. You no, you can't with mess with the orchid. But damn. <laughs> <laughs> they did a really good job on this one. I was surprised because yeah. this is such a distinctive and bold fragrance. It's so complex too. It's a dynamite. So it's not an easy one to capture the essence of, but they did a damn good yeah. job. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's powerful. It is. It is, it is damn powerful. Yeah. Sorry guys, I forgot to plug in the microphone after changing the battery, but we're back. We're back. We're back and the sound is great and everyone is happy. It's not like we just freaked out for five minutes, right? It's not that we almost quit you <laughs> <laughs> forever but anyway so this is the second to last fragrance yes. of today's video and it is floral honeysuckle inspired by a uh, gucci bloom gucci bloom i don't think we've talked about this scent on the channel about gucci bloom i've seen a lot of women saying can you please write gucci bloom yeah you know what is gucci bloom to me what is gucci bloom to you it's so elegant yes very classy were you just in my brain? You're stealing all my lines. Listen, it's classy and very classic. Like, it kind of reminds me of... Who is it? Like, give me an actress, man. Jennifer Who's... Aniston. Jennifer Aniston? Yeah. I can't see Jennifer Aniston Why not? wearing it. Angelina Jolie can wear this. I thought about it. You did? I pictured her with something darker, though. Monica Bellucci. Okay. This is Monica Bellucci. Really? It's Monica Bellucci. Interesting. So this is a tuberose balm. A white floral balm in general. But a very airy white floral balm. Yeah. It is not that tuberose that makes a fragrance smell outdated and just you know nauseating too much is so nicely blended oh my god oh you like it that I, much i like it i didn't know that i like it i will agree with you that this i was gonna say it's a very sophisticated kind of classy tuberose it's not on the sweet playful side like yeah. armani my way i can see this being perfect for like an office job hmm it's very clean, fresh, a little bit sweet, but very professional. And not super loud. Yeah, it's yeah. not super loud. It yeah. won't be offensive to people. Coming back to Flora Honeysuckle, which is this one that we're smelling Yeah, we're smelling, smelling right it now. and talking about it, so. <laughs> yeah, I love it. 
He it's, likes it. It's very close. When we were testing it with Gucci Bloom, I personally found out that the tuberose in there was a little bit more prominent okay. than floral honeysuckle. Yeah. Which I think I, I like this one a little bit better. Okay. Just because a it's not less, uh, exactly dense. Yeah, yeah. I, I did find that Gucci Bloom is more maybe concentrated, a little darker mm. and, and denser. So this is a more kind of airy, fresher yeah. take. Although when they dry down, it's, it's pretty the much the same. Yeah. So definitely do check out Floral Honeysuckle. I think you guys are gonna like it. Yeah, if you're a Gucci Bloom fan. Uh, Gucci Bloom fan or like a white floral, all the white florals coming together. I think you're gonna love Floral Honeysuckle. And last but not least. Last but not least, we are going to the house of Kilian. We have Floral Marshmallow inspired by Love Don't Be Shy. Rihanna's signature scent. Rihanna's signature scent. And this one has a cult following. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. You like this uh, fragrance, right? I, I definitely like this profile. Yeah. I find it quite sexy. Mm. I don't find it to smell like love. Okay. I find it to smell kind of bad girlish. Oh. Got some, it got some like confidence, some kind of like in your face. It has a spank to it. Got a spank to it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it is very creamy, like fluffy. So it has a sensitive side and it has a bad girl side. Yeah, it does, it does. Like marshmallow. I like that they put marshmallow on the name because I do get marshmallow in this one. Yes, Yeah. no doubt. It's yeah. a very fitting name. And off that point, one of my observations for the dossier version, I think it has amped up marshmallow. Uh -huh. To me, it's an even fluffier version of Love Don't Be Shy. It is, yeah. Love Don't Be Shy can be a little bit you know, piercing. That's why I say it's quite in your face, bad girl. Yeah. But the dossier version is a little smoother around the edges. Okay, I was about to say the opposite to you. Really? When I smelled it just now from the paper, uh -huh. I got a very, very sharp okay. thing going in the back of my throat. Damn, girl. <coughs> How's that taste? That sounded wrong, right? <laughs> but I do get the amped up marshmallow yeah. and I like it. If you wanted an even more fluffy, more gourmand love don't be shy, in my opinion, yeah. Dossier kind of did that with this one. Okay. So it's not a dead ringer, but it's a kind of another twist. Yeah, I see. Which I really like. I mean, if you smell this on me without knowing, wouldn't you say that I smell like Killian's love don't be shy? Yeah, without reference, yeah. especially in the air, exactly. it would give off that love don't be shy yeah, vibe. 100%. So girls, if you love this DNA or Love Don't Be Shy was a fragrance that you wanted to add in your collection, but mm -hmm. because for a 50 ml, Anthony, did yeah. you know that it's like 200 and- I did know. I've bought a couple 50. Killians in my day. Ooh, it hurts, you know? It's rough. It's a rough. 50 ml. I will say, check this out. It's, yeah. it's truly worth it. And it's so, so similar. It's gonna be a really good alternative. Very, very good alternative. Fluffier, more marshmallowy Love Don't Be Shy. Yeah. So there you have it, ladies. These were our 12 favorite fragrances from Dossier. Hopefully this served as maybe kind of like a little buying guide, you know, to, to nudge you in the right direction. <laughs> Give you a little bit of a, of a help and- uh, Helping help, hand. Helping hand. Helping yeah. hand. <laughs> These are the ones that really stuck out most to us that were either really close, did a nice twist or- They just smelled incredible. Just smelled great in general. As always, don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below letting us know if you've tried any of these fragrances or- Or- Which one is your favorite dossier fragrance let us know let us know <laughs> i don't know why i'm turning into spider-man see you soon peace